Hello! In this video I will show the way to export and import projects in StreamBase Studio. We're looking at StreamBase Studio 10. Note that these steps are separate from what you would do in a team environment using version control. These steps create a copy of the project. After import, the project will not be associated with a version control system. We're starting with an empty workspace. In the Windows File Explorer, we see that the workspace is in fact empty. Let's load one of our sample applications. Note in the Studio Project Explorer, we see Project Sample LV Sample Hello Live View. This matches what we see in the File Explorer. This is a Maven based project. Your projects may look different. To export a stream based project, first right click on the top project folder and refresh. You can also use the F5 key. This is to make sure the Package Explorer view is synchronized with the file system. If you do not do this, you may get an error preventing export. Second, right click the top project folder and choose Export. Expand the general folder and choose Archive File. In the Export dialog, you may choose to exclude certain folders which represent compilation results. This would be the target folder in a StreamBase 10 project. For live data mart projects in StreamBase 7, we recommend deselecting the LVBin directory, which is entirely compilation artifacts. Set a destination file. The other settings have default values which are correct for StreamBase projects. Click Finish. Let's go back to the workspace. And let's delete this folder from the workspace. And we see that the workspace is empty. Now let's import this project again. Here we have the workspace, and here we have ctemp, and there's our zip file, the exported project. Open the File menu and choose Import. Select General Existing Projects into Workspace. In the dialog, choose Select Archive File and Browse. Select the archive and click Open. Confirm the correct project is selected. One note, the setting Copy Projects into Workspace is set and not changeable. This is true when importing from an archive. If you are importing from another workspace, this option is available to leave disabled. If you import from another workspace and leave the copy option disabled, you will not have a copy in the new workspace, but a reference to the project in the old workspace. This can be confusing and lead to mistakenly editing the single instance of the project from two different studio instances or versions, which will lead to problems we recommend you always choose to copy the projects into the workspace. Click Finish to start the import. It will initially have type check errors while it builds the new project. These should resolve shortly to the as exported state of the project. Please leave any suggestions or comments at support.tipco.com or visit our community site. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.